This is Russell Dobular sitting in for Jimmy Dore, who will be in Denver on May 11th. Go to jimmydore.com for tickets. Jimmy mentioned the yeah. deeply, horrifically unfunny comedy at the correspondence dinner the other night. And part of the reason that was not funny is because once you pick a side, it's not really funny. Now, in your case, usually your comedy is pretty equal opportunity offense as comedy at one time was. And you seem to be doing fine. You have a career. It seems like a lot more fun. Why do so many of these comics like Trevor Noah, like Stephen Colbert, who actually was funny at one time, why do you think they become what, what we would call corporate comedians yeah. rather than to go out on their own? When you got somebody like, like, like Colbert Noah. who actually I, has talent, I'll why, give you, why I'll give you three that? guesses. He's an actor. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think, Ryan? Yeah, I mean, the, the I, I think they're two separate things. The actual like gig of doing the correspondence dinner, I'm a little bit sympathetic to because I feel like that's a hard gig. It's like I the feel like every, awards. I, I feel like every year, like whoever does it goes, it gets like blasted. Like I, I feel like just like as a comedian, I feel like that's like somewhat of a hard gig. Like a bunch of stuffy politicians and everyone's going to be mad no matter what. You get punched uh, by Will Smith probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side of it, it was, uh, I mean, I think in order to sort of like stay truthful in comedy, it's like you do it small increments always, kind of like how getting, you know, staying in shape is not one day. It's like always a little bit pushing back against your audience or pushing back against what you're not supposed to say. It's not just like, I always kind of uh, look at like, you know, there there's a sort of like guys who, you know, their girl bitches them around and they're, you know, they're not allowed to go out with their friends. Not, and then they they one day it's like, I'm putting my foot down. It's like, yeah, but really what you need to like sort of slowly be in control of your life. So I think that just always sort of accepting like what the status quo is and what you're supposed to say. And then it becomes like if you ever go against that now, it's like this big stand that's a big deal. So I think that right. it's like a slow thing that you kind of always have to be doing to sort of remain your like your brain's independence and freedom. Don't don't you find it? Uh, I, I find it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, shocking. I don't know what the right uh, adjective is for it. But whenever I would turn on a late night comedy show, they were all in lockstep. It was very much uh, the opposite of what comedy is supposed to be. And like, that's the beauty of what you do, I think, is because you're not in lockstep and you point out the hilarity of comedians or or anybody being in lockstep. And uh, I mean, if you know it, what, what, no matter what it is, no matter if it was Trump hate, no matter if it's the Ukraine war, no matter if it was COVID or lockdowns or vaccines or Kyle Rittenhouse, no, no matter if it, it, it doesn't matter. They're, they they all are doing a version of the exact same fucking job joke isn't that, that weird suck? and also wouldn't it suck like as a comedian imagine right. like half of the stuff that you want that's funny you're just like well i can't do that that's lazy be trouble stop being lazy <laughs> orange man bad <laughs> Dude, the, uh, programming uh, my girlfriend was at the store yesterday but chicken and she called it a he like i just put him in the bag of, oh he used to soup and the no, guy wasn't calling her out in any way he goes, oh, you just assume the gender of the chicken but it's like a reflex that you have to <laughs> you have to like react about someone assuming gender it's just like hiccups <laughs> like you have to yeah. they all hiccup the same it's been a few days like, oh, somebody's got the call out so nobody gives, not, you can't do it you know what the funny and steph talks about this in her act is like um i've seen transgendered comedians all the time get on stage and uh uh, and say, hey guys, how you doing? Refer to the, they completely misgender an entire room full of fucking people. They do it constantly. They call, they they call women guys all the time. I Why call, is that the, yeah. that's the acceptable misgendering? It should be. I'm not saying y'all. I say dude to women before Because, because if you're, if you're from an oppressed class, you can't be the oppressor. I, oh, as that's a the sign idea. of respect. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's the that's idea. That's the idea. Listen, I always call everyone, I dude don't and man, women especially, as a sign of respect. I call everyone bud. You can't go wrong. I'm bud, yeah. oh, how you doing there, bud? <laughs> yeah. Hey, come see us do a live show. We're going to be in Denver, Colorado, May 11th, Los Angeles, California, doing a live panel show with a celebrity panel and video. Ashland, Virginia, Athens, Georgia, Rutherford, New Jersey, with Max Blumenthal, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Irvine, California, Chicago, Illinois, with another celebrity panel, live video show in Chicago, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to Jim. JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets.